back to the channel. Today is Sunday, another beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Stuck at home because of the virus, so I figured, you know, I'd just make some more videos for you guys and uh, show you what I have, what I'm listening to, how I'm watching videos, movies. Uh, so if you like this video, press that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I will have more videos uh, since uh, I'm home and I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm not working. Unfortunately, we are closed. So let's do this. This is uh, uh, this is my this is my room. I'm just gonna slowly show you guys what I have. Uh, all my speakers are Yamaha speakers, NS7 series and NS3 series and NS5 series. And of course my uh, subwoofer. Uh, it's a 10 inch uh, woofer, uh, also Yamaha. And also I, I do collect uh, a lot of uh, special boxes, uh, special boxes uh like video uh, for uh movies uh as you can see this is my favorite predator head right here uh this is a special edition uh blu-ray box set uh and i'm just going to show you around my uh my movie room my music room and uh see what we have here uh it could be a little dusty i haven't had a chance to clean them all up but uh, the, this is by far the, one of the most impressive uh, collector edition box sets that I have. And uh, here is the beauty. Just the, the, the level of detail and how they made this, it, it's just unbelievable. It looks amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, there are a lot of Predator heads out there, but there is nothing like this one. This, unfortunately, is... Uh, it, it came out a few years ago. They don't sell, them any, sell it anymore. Uh, it was... Uh, I think they only made 500. And uh, they stopped production or they stopped making this. Uh, it's quite large. As you can see, this is my hand, and I have a big hand. Uh, so it's literally, uh, I would say, 12 feet high up, 12 feet tall, uh, 67 inch wide. Movies are going back here. I think I have closed. No, no, actually it's open, but you can see uh, the movies go back down there. This came with the 3D version of the Predator movie, the first one with Arnold. And uh, I, I believe it's collectible. You can't buy this uh, uh, in a market unless, of, of course, you can get it on eBay, but you got to pay uh, a lot of money. Uh, also, I have some collectible music, CDs, the scores that also from the movies extremely collectible they only made hundred of these movie uh, movies uh, scores or CDs again like the predator one with uh, Alan Silvestri they didn't make too many of them this is the original version and I believe it's volume 41 out of hundred uh, some other collectible items again mainly uh, scores for movies the rest are just regular CDs uh, nothing special uh, the subwoofer it's a Yamaha subwoofer my uh, NX777 series I mainly have these uh, set up to my uh, Pioneer Elite amplifier to listen to music and also uh, I will show you guys uh, what other amps that I have. Uh, this small three series are for movies. Here is another collectible, uh, very rare collectible piece. This is from uh, uh, all the Die Hard movies. 
the Nakatomi building. Again, this D the DVDs are at the bottom. Uh, this piece is also quite large, probably like around 20, uh, 20 inches tall. Uh, everything goes in the back. You slide it out. Uh, my NX3 series, these are, I'm using these for my, for surround sound, sound, uh, seven, uh, 5 5.1 and also 7.1 Atmos. Uh, this is my uh, JVC QL-50 uh, record player. I love this thing. This is almost 40 years old. Uh, originally from Japan, made in Japan. I bought it a few years ago uh, on eBay. It's a great deal. It wasn't working, so I built it, fixed it. But it's, uh, it's magnificent. The sound is amazing. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a great quality. Uh, I have this uh, very old Dell XPS laptop. It's an M1710. I just kept it. I'd never bothered uh, upgrading it or anything. I just have uh, a regular Windows 7 OS. And the reason I have this, I love the fact that... Uh, when when the Dell released this laptop, it came up with these uh, uh, the biggest screen back then. I think it was fifteen point five inch. The lights, the LED lights on top of the laptop and also inside the laptop that you can actually change. Great quality. Uh, I just mainly use it for music and also to uh, program my remote control, which I'm running uh, an MX. 3000 remote control. Uh, I love this remote control. It's the greatest thing ever. I control all my systems from here. And uh, I have replaced the battery twice. But overall, the unit itself is just amazing. Good quality. I had it, you know, I bought it 10 years ago. And I'm, you know, I'm still very happy with it. Uh, it's one of the best remote controls out there. I'm sure there are a lot of remote controls out there, a lot of apps you can put on your tablets, your iPads. But uh, I just really like this. This is this is by far the best. Uh, I also, from here, I have some sound filtering and video filtering. Uh, Panamax models, 5300. Uh, I'm running a Roku box. It's an Infinity. It's not really that popular. Uh, I actually got it uh, as a gift. And uh, also I have this little TV tuner that I have hooked up to my projector for watching TV. Uh, like regular antenna channels, regular TV channels. It's all free. Uh, here we have my uh, very old amazing quality uh, Pioneer PDM910 CD changer, CD player. This came out in the late 90s. Uh, the purpose for this unit was to have magazine, magazines, six CD changer magazines, so you could actually listen to your music inside your house, and also take the magazines and put a Pioneer uh, CD changer inside of your car. So you can just basically carry the magazines, carry your music from your car to your house, or, you know, or, or vice versa. Uh, again, this is old school, going back to the 90s. Uh, amazing unit. I love this. Uh, original, uh, you know, obviously all the 80s, late 80s uh, units are... Uh, they were built in Japan. They were built very well. Uh, these units were very famous for their uh, wood panels on each side. I removed the wood panels because it wouldn't fit in my uh, in my stand here. So uh, it's original. I have the original remote, and I love it. It's, it's just the greatest thing ever. Sound quality is amazing. Uh, also, I'm running everything from 
my uh, SC35. This is a Pioneer Elite uh, 3D. Uh, I haven't had a chance to upgrade to 4K yet because there are really uh, no good 4K projectors out there. So I will share what I have as far as projector. Please leave a comment, see what you guys running. I'm looking to upgrade to 4K, but based on what I have, I haven't really seen anything impressive. Uh, so if you guys uh, leave a comment for me, let me know what you, have, if, if, what you guys have, what do you guys use. If you do have a 4K projector, or if you had a Epson uh, 5040 projector, let me know the comparisons because Again, I you know I ha the picture quality on the Epson is amazing. 4K is good, but I it's it's just not I don't I'm not sold as far as spending the money to upgrade yet. But if you guys uh, can share your tips and comments, that would be that would be great. Uh, also, running everything, my videos running on uh, my Oppo. I believe this is a 103 model. Yes, Blu-ray. Uh, DB-103. Uh, great unit. I had it for a few years. Uh, I recently found out that they no longer make uh, players. I think the company went out of business or they closed it down. I don't really know the details, but uh, I noticed how the prices went up five times on eBay or Amazon, and I realized, and I found out later that, you know, they don't... Uh, uh, but uh, the sound quality, especially the video quality on this uh, on this older version or older model, especially the new ones, I believe it's a 203 model, the Oppo 203 and 205 uh, are just spectacular. It's just amazing. Also comes with the wireless adapter. I already have it hooked up to my uh, Ethernet connection. I do have a switch and everything is already uh, hardwired, connected. Uh, my surround uh, center speaker, also Yamaha. I love it. it sounds great uh, and very affordable. They're not too expensive, you know, but uh, they look great. They sound great. Uh, they have the, the piano finish color and uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, also, I'm running uh, another amp for my music, for my sound specifically, running this beautiful Daytona Audio MA1260. It's a 12 channel, 6 channel, 12 connector amplifier, multi zone amplifier. I use it around the house for multiple other channels in different rooms, yard, garage, you know, whatever you have. I have two filters. My <clears throat> sound and video devices are separately connected, and all other uh, devices are connected to my two uh, filters sound and video filters they're very helpful in us we have uh, as we call it you know we have 110 volt and the, the power is very dirty so they just uh, always recommend using these filters so it will protect the devices also I, I you know where i live i lose power once in a while so it's been helping me uh, to save my uh, you know to save protecting my units so they don't die uh, again, going back to another classic, old school, extremely, you know, great quality uh, Pioneer uh, CD player. This is another Elite PD-65. Uh, this unit by far is the one of the best CD players Pioneer ever made. Uh, and... Uh, it's a single CD player. It's not a changer or anything. And just uh, the whole mechanism on this thing is amazing. Uh, I have the, you know, I have, this is also from Japan, made in Japan back in the 80s uh, when Pioneer actually made uh, good quality stuff. Now, the quality and the look, especially the look of their units, is just extremely disappointing. Uh, I also have a, their flagship uh, SCTX uh, 09TX model, uh, which came out right after or possibly before 
this unit, definitely before this unit, I'm sorry, yeah, this because that uh, the that flagship unit doesn't have 3D. I, I'm just using it for sound processing uh, in another room. Uh, it's a monster, came out in 2008, 2009. Uh, uh, but yeah, it just doesn't have 3D, it, it has HDMI, uh, 1080p connector which I don't use it for video uh, it's in another room I will uh, add it to the video at the end uh, extremely impressive huge it's a monster looks amazing again pioneer doesn't you know build systems like that anymore now everything looks cheap and flimsy and ugly that's what I think at least but uh, here is uh, NX777333, uh, here's my T2 collector's edition head, uh, again this came with the Blu-ray, uh, everything is connect, or everything goes in the back of this, uh, the stand or the base, all the movies are in there. Uh, it looks pretty cool, the eyes light up from this I think there is battery in here but there we go. I think they have multiple there we go. next Yeah, it comes with six different recordings. I think that was the last one. Um, yeah, that's another uh, collector's item that I have here in my collection. And the rest are uh, hanging on the wall. So let's uh, check it out. So uh, these are the original posters. I do also collect posters. Don't have them all uh, on the walls yet, but uh, this is going... Uh, right under my uh, Godfather special edition box that I have up there. Again, uh, this is a Blu-ray box set with tons of magaz uh, picture magazines, the script for the movie, uh, movie pictures, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and... Uh, Also goes with the, you know, sitting right above the, the iconic Godfather poster. Uh, up there I have Goodfellas. Uh, under Goodfellas, uh, I have another iconic collector's item, Scarface. More collect collector boxes, Blu-ray boxes from Disney, uh, Batman, of course, and uh, here we have Spider Spider-Man movies. This is the original Spider-Man movies with uh, uh, I forgot the guy's name, but uh, anyhow. Alien, the com complete box set of Alien and the statue of Alien sitting on the egg. Inception, one of my favorite movies with Leonardo. This is also a nice box set, comes 
all these boxes are full of pictures and the script of the movie and uh, behind the scene images, details about the movie and a whole bunch of stuff. This, uh, this is Titanic, very special edition Titanic. This is 3D. It's a 3D Blu-ray, extremely rare. Uh, I'm sure it's out there, but it's not cheap. Uh, also Superman 3D, extremely rare. My Predator, uh, smaller version statue of Predator. And uh, here we have Transformers. This is a complete box set of Transformers. Nothing special. It's not, it's not 3D or anything, just a Blu-ray. Uh, this was the first version that they built and released. I don't think they make these anymore, or maybe you can get them out there. A uh, smaller version of Terminator, Terminator statue with Schwarzenegger, Planet Earth. And we're coming down to one of my best shows, favorite shows, Breaking Bad. Uh, it's, I'm just going to try to make the lightning, the lights better here. It's the barrel. Let's see if I can put some light into this. Star Trek. Uh, the movies are actually in here. This is the complete set. It was released in, uh, by Amazon on Amazon right as soon as the show ended. Uh, I remember it took literally 48 hours and this thing was gone. And uh, I have some, these are very few of my movies that I have here. Records, uh, not all the movies are here. Uh, some CDs and all that and uh, here are here's more poster there's another poster of Predator this is uh, actually signed by the by the cast and the crew uh, also by John Debney he is the he wrote the score for this one for this uh, movie not my favorite Predator movie but uh, I just kind of like the poster and uh, I had a chance to meet the crew and the cast, and they signed it for me. Uh, I'm running everything, uh, not everything, but I'm running my video on my uh, Epson projector, as I mentioned earlier. This is just a 1080p projector. This is a 5040 model. Uh, I'm sorry, 5020 model. And... Uh, it's it's amazing the picture quality is by far one of the best i have ever uh seen uh it, i had it i've been i've been using it i bought it three four years ago and i'm super super happy with this thing uh the picture quality is so amazing comparing to to new 4k projectors which there are not native project 4k projectors out there including epson and uh, I just, you know, it's not a, a vow factor for me. It's like, I, you know, I have seen the 4K images and I have seen the images on this baby right here. You know, it's the comparison is just not, it's not huge. It's, and that's why I haven't really had a chance to upgrade or don't want to upgrade, don't want to spend the money getting something that, you know, the picture quality is going to be as good as, maybe a shy more of you know better than this one uh, I, i'm really happy with this one uh, if you guys have 4k projectors uh and uh you know not not the, the the full 4k i can't afford those those are pretty expensive or laser 4k projectors but uh, uh like the epson or other brands jvc sony that are fairly uh, affordable, please share it, uh, you know, leave a message, put it in the comment uh, section below. Let me know what you guys running, how to, you know, how the picture quality is. 
uh, how you like the, the new 4K uh, projectors uh, because I'm in a market to upgrade, but again, I haven't found really anything impressive. Uh, this is pretty much uh, what I have. I will uh, put more videos on uh, for the record player, uh, sounds, speakers, testing, all the speakers. Also, when it gets a little darker, I will uh, set up some, you know, more uh, videos about the projector, videos on, you know, movies and how uh, the surround sound sounds, uh, my 5.1 and 7.1. And uh, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. More videos will uh, will come soon. Thank you, guys. Take care.